Patrick, uh, Patrick weighed in as well. Uh, J. Cole ruined his legacy. Never apologize. Never apologize. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Stop right there. I don't want to hear anyone talking about how J. Cole apologizing is respectful and humble. Okay, yeah. Let me go ahead and immediately like this video. There we go. And how he's doing the right thing. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. Stop. And I'm going to tell you why that's all bullshit. Now, I know a lot of people associate rap beef with violence, but nobody thought Kendrick and Cole were going to start sliding on each other's block. <laughs> exactly. Nobody thought that Kendrick and <laughs> J. Cole were going to start sliding on anybody's blocks. Come on now. Nobody thought they were going to shoot the fade. Nobody thought that any real violence or <laughs> danger was going to occur from this situation versus maybe some other beefs that we've seen in the past. Mm. I think we all were on the same page that this was strictly a competitive hip hop beef. Uh -huh. J. Cole was never known as a gangster, a mm -hmm. scammer, mm -hmm. a trapper, mm -hmm. a gimmick, mm -hmm. a tough guy. Mm -hmm. None of that. He has always been known as a lyricist and not by us by him that's what he has told us over the past decade or so he branded himself as the illest and most dominant rapper alive mm. he provided warnings to other rappers that nobody dare try to test him on the mic he was the one that said he wouldn't even give jesus a feature the guy who said he's trying to revive a dying sport by which he means hip-hop and as hip-hop transformed into a more melodic trap sound he carried that spirit of the traditional 90s lyricist Mm -hmm. So a lyricist, Kendrick Lamar, finally tests. He do got bars. That's not the argument. Nobody ever argued that J. Cole cannot rap. That, that wasn't the argument at all. Him, called him to the stage and said, let's see what you're made of. And he responds, seven minute drill, kind of pieces of his whole album. It's the fact that he actually can rap is what makes it even more disappointing, bro. Which was cool. But then he apologizes for that response within 48 hours. I pray that my really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that on the chin, boy. Do what you do. After a decade of warning rappers, daring them to test you, the moment you finally get your chance mm -hmm. and you fold. J Fold, that's your new name. No. Now, first of all, no! dissing Kendrick with a whole album after he dropped just one verse on a featured track was already overkill. And I know technically Seven Minute Drill is the only diss, but let's be honest. There, no, yeah. I mean, Might Delete Later is basically an entire diss. Yes. I mean, sure, a yes. lot of those songs were obviously pre recorded, pre written, they're older, but bro definitely reshaped them a little bit I'm to saying. make it more current. Come on, like bro. What Drake did with Scorpion, Pusha T. Kanye were at his neck two three weeks later Scorpion drops and literally half the songs are about them <laughs> He got bullied into being a good father, but we all respected it. J. Cole responded quick. It was cool I honestly liked the energy of my delete later I thought that the offseason saw much better rapping and obviously better song structure because it wasn't in response to somebody but hey under the current landscape of rap might delete later still went hard but we can all agree that the claims that j cole made in seven minute drill were absolutely insane cole calling kendrick's music trash and trying to claim kendrick <laughs> fell off when he, i'm pretty sure he just had his most successful tour of all time it was just insane it was insane oh. and when you really look at it that was the only dennis fontavious nah what the fuck why the fuck do you still have valorant man delete that shit right fucking now that you and our our shit has to go you a fucking man with a wife and a kid with a kratos background it's a disgrace to quanti um shit i mean like you know I actually don't know why this is here, but I'm definitely, you know, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, get that out of here, man. Uh, Shout out to you. I appreciate you. Okay. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone only premise of his entire diss was that Kendrick was falling off and that his music is trash and that he's only talking about Cole because Cole is number one right now and Kendrick wants attention. That's pretty much it. That's the whole seven minute drill. And then a bunch of 
I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I have Valorant on my uh, PC. I will never have it again. I will never have it on again. I will actually issue an apology. Yo, Cheryl Daniel, thank you for the ray subscription. Filler bars about how he's gonna, you know, slide on the block and that he's actually clutching the pole himself. He also said in the diss that people have been wanting him to respond. And if he responds, that would be like him swatting at a fly. But he was literally responding in the track. So like, wh what? Look, the diss, was <laughs> weak. it was weak. It kind of sucked. But I mean, ultimately, it was a diss. See, me personally, I fucked with it, bro. I fucked with it, man. It was like he said it was warning a little light, a little light, you know, light, light shit. Even though he says some crazy shit in there, I actually liked it, which is crazy because I'm the one that actually liked it. And now I'm that's probably why I'm even more disappointed that he apologized because I actually liked it. It was a response and it was entertaining for the fans. Then he hit the stage and took back everything he said. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like Does it sound like a majority of people were not fucking with it? I, f I feel like that's something that was also tied into this apology because a lot of the stuff that i was seeing literally everybody was saying this shit was ass or this shit was weak and ironic that he's saying that the album is boring and da 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 and, and all this shit like i try to like jab my back and i try to keep it friendly but at the end of the day when i listen to it and when it comes out and i see the talk that shit don't sit right even people in the crowd was confused like they were like huh my Peace. But why? Why did J. Cole apologize? Well, first of all, he wasn't the only person to apologize to Kendrick Lamar. Macklemore, J. Electronica, Lupe Fiasco. Yeah, I heard about apparently, all this, bro. Kendrick just strikes fear into other rappers Kendrick's so much that guy, so that they feel man. they need to express their deepest Can't nobody fuck with him, bro. <laughs> like, what does he know? What does Kendrick know that we don't? It seems pretty clear to me that Cole apologized because even he knew that he had no chance against Kendrick. Like, he claims that his spirit was hurt, or maybe <laughs> he felt that the rapture was coming with the solar eclipse. Like, I don't know, like, and he what? needed to get right with God before, you know. That's what hit, second... that's what hit me different, bro. He said he said he was losing sleep and he's aligning himself with God. It's like, bro, like y'all just rapping. Like what? Ken There's no way Kendrick strikes this much fear in you, my dude. You're aligning yourself with God, my nigga. They're words on a beat. There are literally words on a beat to a rhythm. What? Coming of Jesus Christ happens. <laughs> but seriously, like even despite the numerous shots that he took at Kendrick and threw at Kendrick over a whole album, he still didn't top Kendrick's one line of saying, that's a K with all these nines. He gon' see Pet Cemetery." Cole Damn. did not have a better bar than that one. So he apologized to mitigate the damage. I think that he just tried to get out in front of it and stop the beef before it went on for months and months or potentially years. Imagine how stressful it would be for 40 year old J. Cole waiting around every day for a much better better rapper to just diss him so that he can get in the studio and respond with a but it's like at least like do the like do the battle bro like go through with the battle let it happen if that's how you feeling like you issued your warning kendrick and th that's the reason why you did it as a warning so that niggas know you're not at full power kendrick responds and then you drop yo shit and then if Ken when kendrick replies back then you'd be like you got it, dog. But it's like, damn, we will respect you for bowing out rather than just like dropping something and then immediately throwing in the flag. Like, what? How? Your diss only for the internet to basically tell him to give up because it's never going to happen. He apologized because he, he didn't actually feel a way. Then I'm... said he prays Kendrick doesn't feel a way. Does that mean he expects Kendrick to apologize? Then he said, I'll take it on the chin. So then Kendrick should too without the apology. Am I missing something? He apologized because he did. Okay, hold on. Let me read this again. He apologized because he didn't actually feel away. Then said he prays Kendrick doesn't feel away. Yeah, <laughs> I, you're you're confusing. You're actually confusing me, bro. You're confusing me, man. Feeling very confident in himself. I mean, he made an entire album, listened to it back, mixed it, mastered. That's what I just said. Oh my god, that's what I just said. It takes time for the for this shit to get finished. Like, it takes time for shit to be complete. You have more than enough time to be like, yo, 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 you know what? You know what? Scrap all that, bro. Scrap all that. I'm not doing it. Wait, why? What happened? I just can't do it, bro. It don't it don't make sense. It really don't make sense.
but instead you still dropped it and it got i mean i'm pretty sure you got the the promotion that you needed for the fall off and everything because i mean niggas was talking about this shit probably was feeling very confident in himself i mean he made an entire album listened to it back mixed it it was the song song not album bitch do you know what it takes to make a song too bro like what there's a process to make a song you don't especially at the level he is nigga it's not like he, like you just in your room you record it and then you put it on youtube <laughs> like what Mastered it, showed it to people, right? He was feeling confident, and then maybe after he dropped it, he saw the world. Like, literally, the only way I could see your point, if, if, if this nigga did a lot, if he was live, like, he did a live stream and recorded the song, and then, like, niggas took that shit and then was like, and he was like, no, 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 actually, like, I don't even, that's not even me, bro. Cole said the fall off is like, uh, the fall off is like Hove dropping Reasonable Doubt last. Then he took the takeover route by going after Kendrick's disco disco di discography. Unfortunately, Kendrick is that nigga in that lane. So the diss is weak. He said bring three switches. Great song plus Conductor Williams beat though. <laughs> response and saw that they weren't really taking his side like he thought they would. And he decided to stop the bleeding before he let out or maybe that's what i that's like that's another uh one of the other things i was thinking like destin sonata nah fuck that dono j fold folded like a panini folded in the heat like a bitch he always was man felt like a pit bull alone in the booth but when in reality he a little fucking chihuahua yeah master lyricist and all that say sorry now um I my thing is I'm saying that the reason for J. Cole's apology was that he didn't really feel away. Then he said I pray Kendrick doesn't really feel away. So if you're fine with Kendrick dissing you without really feeling away, why would you take back your own diss? Uh, I, like, I, I, there's I don't know, bro. But th that's why we got these speculations, bro. Everybody has these crazy wild uh like positive self revealing speculations but i think it's i don't think it's like that man it's either he saw the negative which is crazy because when i saw people being negative i was like damn it's really bad but i really like the diss track so it's like if he's looking at it like if i'm looking at it like damn why are people saying it's bad or why like why are people why did people say it's bad i still don't know why people are saying it's bad if i'm looking at it like that i know he was looking at it like yo what the fuck they really not hating this? You didn't really hear, hear it. First of all, you're not even sub, so I can't even take you serious, my nigga. <laughs> I can't even take you serious, my nigga. So how is all of this going to affect LeBron's legacy? Wasn't LeBron rapping, uh, he was rapping this, this diss track song, right? Uh, no, J he was, he was rapping J. Cole's diss track song, right? I say it affects him severely, bro. I say it affects him absolutely severely. I, I, I think that nigga needs to issue an apology to Kendrick for even uttering those lyrics. Oh my God. He thought they would, and he decided to stop the bleeding before he- Oh, he was rapping Kendrick's? Oh. Oh, bro. Then he's literally already submitted as the GOAT above Michael Jordan. When is, when is Michael Jordan ever quoted a, a Tupac lyrics in the middle of a game? I, if you show me, if you can show me a video about of that, I will shut the fuck up. Let out, or maybe he really did have an epiphany, and after he released it, he thought, "Ah, eh, this isn't worth it because I'm gonna take the high road." No, I, I, I'm not being objective here. There's no way. There's no way. He he saw the way everybody responded. I was like, "Fuck, I fucked up. I'm just gonna get in front of this." <laughs> I'll just nip it in the bud. Kendrick, I'm sorry. I Chat, didn't... it's literally like those things. It's literally like when you play in a game and someone beat your ass and you're just like, I mean, I wasn't even trying for real. Like, it's all, I'm not going to rematch or, or nothing like, but I wasn't, just know I wasn't really trying. Okay, let's run it. Let's run it back. Nah, like, I, I'm not even, I'm really not even trying to play no more, if I'm being honest. Like, I actually, this, there's this new game coming out that I really, I'm trying to uh, main this new character I'm trying to main. So it's like, I gotta, I'm really just trying to focus on that right now. <laughs> so you and jump force, you know what? Yeah, it's exactly like that. It's exactly like that. Let's do that. It's exactly like that.
Josh beat me in jump force. Good job. Good job. I say, yo, my nigga, I'm like, when, 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 I already made the analogy before. I've already made the analogy, bro. He beat me in jump force. I say, yo, when Spark and Zero comes out, I'm going to beat your ass. Spark and Zero comes out. He, Spark and Zero comes out. People were saying it's bad was because he's basically lying the whole time on the track. Even his delivery sounded like he was unsure. If you got Chat. a lie to make a diss track hot, then it's not really good in the first place. Chat, listen, listen. Spark, I, I talked all this shit. I talked all this shit to Josh, right? I say when, when Spark and Zero drops, my nigga, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna body him. Like, it's going to be bad. Like, I, I'm gonna I'm a really do him dirty. It comes out, chat, I beat him. I beat him in the first, like, the first game. He wants a rematch. I say, bro, honestly, I can't do the rematch. Um... I actually fuck with you and I I don't want this to get like too much. Like I don't want I don't want us to go back and forth yelling. Like you know our fans, they want to see blood. Oh my god, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Since you perceived it as a warning, you took it as more bars to come. Wait. He holding back, but now I'm gonna get back to you. Chat. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. I'm gonna do it. I don't care if the meme's dead by now. I don't care if the meme uh, if the meme's dead by then. When Spark and Zero comes out, I'm gonna beat that nigga once. All I need, I'm gonna beat that nigga. I just need one win. I'm gonna beat that nigga. And I'll be like, he gonna want the re. I, I know, I got so I gotta beat him the first time. It's gotta be the first game. And when I do that, I'm be like, yo, bro, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie, I can't do that. He not gonna get it as long as y'all get it. <laughs> as long as y'all get it and y'all remember, bro. <laughs> everybody can say what they say, and while they're saying that, that's when I pull the ultimate checkmate card. Uh, card. So how do y'all feel about Jay Coden? He did the same exact thing. Huh? Oh, oh, it's different now, huh? Boom. <laughs> Boom, bruh. Yo, that's insane. Bro's gonna forget by then? Most likely, bro. <laughs> Yo, I beat him I beat him once on the first warm-up match. Warm the first warm-up match, bro. And I'd be like, yeah, that's that's just a that's just a warning of what's about to happen, bro. That, we could run a set. Like, I'm going to talk my shit like, I, you know, like he was talking shit in the, in the album. We could run a set, nigga. We could go first of five, nigga. What the fuck? We do the first match. And while through the match, while I'm beating him on that final character. And remember, this is just a warning shot, my nigga. It's going to get a lot worse from here on out. I beat him. He gets mad. He won the rematch. I can't, bro. Actually, I can't, man. I don't want us to go back and forth. Like, I want us to be homies. Like, I can't even. I see myself digging in the deepest, darkest, like parts of my of myself just looking through the dirtiest combos and shit like that and i'm like damn i'm really doing this to my nigga like why am i looking for the worst combos to just keep this man stunned when i don't want that for him like what i want us to both play the game and be successful at it so hey man i understand if you mad look I, i'll stand here idle for the next four rounds for the next four games I'll take that on the chin, my nigga. I'll I'll be idle and I'll I'll take that I'll take that on the chin. But I'm not fight I'm not fighting I'm not fighting no more, bro. I'm not fighting no more. That's that's soft. That, I'm sorry if you. Oh my god, that's that makes me mad again. Like I'm mad at myself for for an imaginary shit. Like I'm mad at myself for some imaginary shit. That's how I'm feeling. That's how I felt when I heard this nigga apologize, bro. Then what the hell was that whole reaction to your album that I listened to the night prior? I should delete the whole video. Oh, what? Oh, why are you muted? Oh, I turned it down. W and talk trash. Oh, shit. Then apologize. Hold on. Let me refresh the, these donations because boom, 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 boom. Yo, Jalen James, thank you for the research. The reason people were saying it's bad was because he's basically lying the whole time on the track. Even his delivery sounded like he was unsure. If you got a lie to make a diss track hot, then it's not really good in the first place. Bro, I I, I felt like when I heard it, he re it sounded like he was I saying think no since business. you perceived it as a warning, you took it as more bars to come. Yes, he most definitely. Back, but now that he apologized, if you listen again, you'll it wasn't that great to begin with. Maybe, okay, maybe I do need to like listen to it again. And maybe Some that of these earlier donos got a chill with how much shit they be talking. We established J. Cole folded, but you gotta get off your high horses, your keyboard warriors. What makes you better? 
Look, there's either people who are really against, like, even uh, better to match Kendrick going first. You gotta let him cook you the first time, then come back with one W and talk trash. Then apologize. Mm, you're right. You're right. Yo, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna forget by then, but that's just, I, I, I would still do it as just like a joke, but like actually continue fighting. But you I'm gonna I'm really make it seem like I'm rage done. About how you'll beat his ass on Sparking Zero. Then when the game drops, just say that you don't want to do that to him like that and apologize for the diss. Yo, yeah, that's actually true. Man, shut up, Retro Wave. What makes us better is that we didn't fucking release a diss. Then apologize for it, pussy. Ooh. Oh shit. Chat, that's literally just not standing on business. I thought the whole motto that was happening recently was SOB, standing on business. He did the exact opposite, bro. The exact opposite. Don't diss me back because I still want a career. <laughs> Ironically, I'm just gonna get in front of this. <laughs> I'll just nip it in the bud. Kendrick, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to diss you. Please don't diss me back because I still want a career. <laughs> Ironically, Damn. Kendrick's diss wasn't even nearly as hard as he could have went. Like Cole overreacted to a few bait lines. <laughs> like the beef started because J. Cole said that Kendrick Lamar is a great rapper and that and then that, and Drake is a great rapper and we're all great rappers together, right? Like, that's the origin of the beef. I know it's deeper than that, but, like, let's be honest. That's what started it, or that's what escalated it to this point. So Kendrick said, you're not even in the conversation with me. I'm a better rapper. That's crazy. Imagine, like, basically, like, I don't want to say he was dick riding, but, like, basically just, just imagine, like, being on, like, I, you dick riding, bro. Dick riding. And then the nigga look at you and be like, yo. We are not on the same level, buddy. <laughs> we are not on the same level at all. Nigga, I would apologize too. I get it. Rapper, let's see what you got. You know, just throw out a little bait. Let's see what you do. Then Cole dissed him and proved that he shouldn't be in the conversation mm. because he apologized just two days later mm. about his terrible diss record. Ken would Kendrick ever apologize? Would Kendrick ever apologize? Would Drake ever apologize? Would Drake ever, would Jay-Z ever apologize? Would Jay-Z ever apologize? Would Nas ever apologize? Would Nas ever apologize? Hmm. Sorry, bro, I didn't mean that. It wasn't me. It's all love from me. You aren't a keyboard warrior. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, it just confirms. That's your not big three. And listen, if you're a J. Cole fan and you're mad at me, dude, I... J... <clears throat> Sorry. Jay-Z's mom made him apologize to Nas. But, like, was this, like, years later? After they, like, they, after they didn't already did their shit? Their back and forth? Was it, or was it a situation... A situation... Oh, it was years later? Bro. Chat. Y'all got to realize the difference of what, what's happening here, bro. Still apologizing? There's no way you're comparing the two. There's no way you're comparing the two, bro. Hold on. Let me look this up. I got to see this. Hold on. Uh, Jay-Z apologizes to Nas. Where is it at? If you weren't you, would you think Ethan was a hot joint? Um, I would be a little, like, like me as a guy, like, I would listen to the last verse and be like, wow. Like, dude, it's, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's just, it's uneasy. Is this? You know? Okay. Like, I'm being able to, like, like, <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Retro Wave. Apologize oh, like your lord and Wait, savior, J Fold. Okay. Keyboard warrior, my ass. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> 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 Away from passion, away from magnums, the brave assassin, we the main attraction. Street sweepers, yeah, they be special. Okay, the, who, who made this video? This guy's like pissed. <laughs> this guy's pissed, man. What do we, like, 
Where is the goddamn apology, man? So Jay-Z's apology to Nas made Rockefeller look crazy, said his Dame Dash. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So the Rockefeller co-founder was a guest on the CEO show alongside fashion icon... I need to see quotes. What did he say? Esco, where he spoke about his admiration for Escobar and how he's maintained his integrity throughout his... Pablo? 30-year career. During the conversation, Dame Dash also shared his reaction to Nas name-dropping him on his iconic Jay-Z diss track, Ether. I was in shock. <laughs> But I was happy. So, we'll I wasn't hurt. No, we don't start that. I'm gonna tell you right now what happened. I was hyped that he said my name. Yeah. But also, I knew what homie was doing with his. You know, I was like, yeah. this. oh my god, where is the apology? Like, get off the radio. We looking crazy. And mm -hmm. homie, he was the only person I ever seen really battling like that. Dame Dash then recalled his reaction to Jay Z's apology to Nas and said he puts the blame on Irv Gotti. Just Yo, bro, I, I couldn't even talk to this dude <laughs> for three weeks. I didn't talk to Jay Blind and shit. I was like, and then when he went and apologized and shit, I was like, bro. Oh, no. I was hitting him from okay. the thing like, get off the radio. We looking crazy. That's how his homies were. Yo, get off the stage, bro. We looking crazy. <laughs> and Irv did that shit. A Queens nigga. He gave yeah, him pause, yeah, the banana yeah, in the tailpipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a Queens thing. He didn't even see that. Yo, Irv, stay out my business. Hov's apology, which came during an appearance on Hot 97 in December 2001, was prompted by a phone call from his mother, Gloria Carter, who did not approve of his son's crude shots on his ether response, Super Ugly. The diss track included lines about having sex with Nas's baby mother, Carmen Bryan, in the back of his car and leaving condoms on your baby seat. During a separate interview earlier this year, Dame Dash tore into his former business partner by saying Jay-Z's response to Nas was terrible and that Escobar came out on top in their feud. I Jay's think response that's was where, terrible. Yeah, it didn't, but the thing it didn't is, we had out. first hit him with the 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 the, the joint at Summer Jam that was kind of hard when we take over the things. But then when he came with the ether, I was kind of hyped because he said my name. I was hyped. <laughs> like yes, I'm in a rap record. But the response, I wasn't there for the response. I was, I had landed. Irv Gotti fucked that one up. You know, every time Irv got in our business, he fucked shit up. I'm so, so you would say Nas won the bad that battle? Yeah, that battle. Yeah, yes, that, that's what shot. I thought. But like, you know, what do you mean? But you know, he did. <laughs> yeah, he won that. I'm one. not saying he didn't. <laughs> he threw that ether on him. He had the nigga. He had him apologizing. Like, the, the the rap that he did was whack. Like when I heard it, I was pissed. Like I heard it. I was coming from doing a Rockwear ad on a private. You know, I just landed from like Arizona. And I'm listening to the shit on the radio. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I'm like, I made, I was like, go to fucking uh Delhi. I would have given Cole big three status. Personally, I would have. But now you got tested and you folded. Now, some one of you might say, oh, you better keep that same energy for Drake. Bro, Drake is not a rapper rapper. And we all know this. And Kendrick knew <laughs> that Drake would be. That's, why, that's no, what I'm saying. I don't know what the apology is. Like, there's fuck no clip Kendrick, of the apology or anything. Fuck Jay Fold. Fuck Michael Jordan and fuck LeBron James. The real beef is Harry Potter fans trying to convince us they are at the greatness level of Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. Hilarious she. You you bought it up, you you put them in that same category, so they already are, just by just by you associating them that like it already is by association. Good try, man. Uh, literally when they when Dune dropped, they said uh, on the scale of Harry Potter and, and Lord of the Rings, I then nobody say to put it, not, put them together. But, I did message but you, you did because them niggas are on that same level. Harry Potter on that shit. At one eighteen a.m. Pink shirt on in profile picture. I would appreciate if I could get your help and insight on life. Guy from two days that works six days a week. The Someone just said Dante still wears rock aware. So Dune's on that level then. No. Dune literally, Dune said that. Dune said that about themselves, bro back drake jumps on a podcast he jumps on stage and talks about man i don't even need to respond like drake sings love songs let's be honest nobody was expecting a diss response especially after push it you yo is that no one wants the smoke in kendrick's song prophetic he predicted people need to get their she's straight by april 7th love the streams yo it is disrespect y'all are disrespectful to harry potter and lord of the rings by allowing Dune to come, like, be in the same category as that, and they haven't even dropped the final movie of the trilogy. Like, that is that is insane. Y'all might as well throw the new Star Wars up there too, bro. 
Y'all might as well throw the new the the new Star Wars up there too, cause they did three movies, bro. Like that's how y'all moving right now, man. That's insane. You are hiding a child. Let that boy come home. I mean, Kendrick couldn't do Drake any dirtier than Pusha did. He so could, basically, all find a way. J. Cole fans have left is to cope <laughs> by talking about him being humble and him being the bigger person and taking. Oh my taking... god, I hate I I hate this shit, bro. Y'all not real fans of Cole because he's always been humble and doesn't like falling into the industry shit. Do y'all listen to his music? His fans shouldn't be dis- Bro, y'all, I hope y'all ride for me the same way these bitches ride for us. Not, <laughs> but I did message you on it two days ago at Center's request. At 1.18 a.m. pink shirt on in profile picture. I would appreciate if I could get your help and insight on life. Guy from two days that works six days a week. Okay. So I'm gonna let you know now. I get literally hundreds of of messages, bro. Um, like even that you told me a time. The time doesn't even matter because it doesn't say when people message. When me. the women they just defending message. you in a rap beef, you know you lost Lamau. Oh what? Well, this is awkward. Oh, this is this is. I just seen a message and it's kind of awkward. I'm not gonna put it out there, bro. Oh, it wasn't to, it wasn't your message. It was like chat. If I told y'all, it was just, it's just like what? Like this is, I yo. Let me move on, man. In the high road, and I'm not what? there with you. I mean, y'all know normally I'm objective and I try to see it from both sides, and I do. I do see it from J Cole's perspective, but bro, you brought this on yourself. You dissed him. You're the one who put this out. If you didn't diss him, sure, you'd have to live with the whole internet saying, oh, you're scared, blah, blah, blah. But dog, after a decade of warning rappers and claiming you're the illest lyricist and you fold, like, this is a competitive rap like, beat. What are we Don't doing? Santo fiddlesticks. What are we doing? Stop this cope. We all know Harry Potter reigned a fraction of the legacy created by the Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, not the recent shit of any of them, the OG shit. Right. Wanna compare? Pick two best scenes and I'll counter. Let's see, Han. Two best... Bro, niggas always win a counter. That's why it's called a counter, bro. Come on now, man. Expected violence, so I don't want to hear that, oh, it, it could have got out of hand, it could have got violent. Like, bro, we knew that wasn't going to happen. Like, imagine if during the Conor McGregor versus Khabib fight, Conor just Unrelated, quit but midway through the first Have Facts. you seen the new layout YouTube is doing? No. My shit just changed and it looks disgusting. Look at this. I don't have like automatic updates on, man. I do not have it. Also, if you're judging, if you're saying Star Wars is better just because it has better scenes, like better action scenes, like what, like what's the what, what's the argument here? Is the argument that Star Wars has more action? Yeah. Good one. This is weird. Wait, is wait, is it No, this is weird. I don't know. I the comments need to stay where they were. They need to keep the comments where they were. Like what? I don't like how this looks, bro. I don't know, man. First round and was like, never mind. All that stuff I said about your religion and your family and your father and all of those terrible things that Where I said. Where is Shadow of War? Bro, Shadow of War is like, you know, that's it's a lot to get into. And I just I just haven't gotten into it yet, man. I'm going to get into it, but I want to get into it without like having to be like, you know, distracted by shit, man. That and did and the I. whole spell. My Instagram profile picture is an older black lady with a pink shirt on. If that helps. An older black lady with a pink shirt on. Okay, hold on. Hold on, chat. Give me a second. Jesus Christ, dude. Hold on. Um, An older black lady. Look, chat. At the end of the day, you comparing Dune to Harry Potter or the Lord of the Rings is disrespectful. I'm not doing the Lord of the Rings... Or I'm not doing the Lord of the Rings. No, 
comparing Dune to Star Wars is just you, you're just you just don't know good like YouTube trying to be Instagram with this new layout. I had to reinstall my browser to get it to change back. Stupid update, dog. YouTube I, try to make a helpful update challenge. I'm Impossible. literally not seeing like. Like you just gonna have to keep like spam messaging me, bro. Like I'm telling, I don't think you understand like how like how like the message system works, bro. My shit is cooked, bro. It's it's literally cooked. You guys are saying Dune is better because you guys are like you're trolling, bro. You're you're actually just trolling. Spectacle that I made about all of this buildup. You're I'm trolling. You want me to do this? Is what you want me to do? Okay. You on your on your spare time, you're like, oh, it's time to fuck with Dante, man. You know how I could do that? Tom Cruise is a terrible actor. Harry Potter's dog shit. Dune 2 is amazing. Better than Star Wars. J. Cole's right. You're a hater. Cut your hair, you nappy bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Just gonna quit midway through the first round. Let's just go our separate ways. Imagine that. That's not what happened. They went to war and Connor lost. Khabib said he would humble him and he did. So the question is what happens next? Biggie couldn't beat Tupac's hit him up. As big as Jay-Z gets as a music industry mogul and iconic rapper, we all know that he couldn't outdo Ether. MGK got eviscerated and embarrassed by Eminem. Now he was punching above his weight there, but it still caused him basically to switch genres. Remy Ma. But he ain't apologized. <laughs> Nick, them niggas ain't apologized, man. Don't I? Since it's a message Separate request, name. I can only message one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I like, I, I, I don't know, man. I can't. I'm sorry, but like, I can't just stop the stream to just shift through my messages. It's like my messages are insane, man. Expose. And me. you know what happens when I say I'm going to look through my messages? I get more people messaging me like, yo, what's up, hey? so bad and then she started crashing out afterwards so from here j cole will like either... when i check my messages niggas go on my message be like i'm in the stream right now <laughs> fade out of the spotlight and be remembered as the guy who Dimple folded fictitious. to Kendrick. now as a whole coherent series of movies nobody said action you dummy we are both adults you pick the best two scenes from many harry potter and I will counter from each Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. Nigga, you're doing Final two large films. Coaching. You're pitting two large films against against Harry Potter. What? You are pitting two large films against Harry Potter. Like what, bro? Kendrick Come on, man. He might try to diss Kendrick again after realizing folding was the wrong decision, only for people to not take him seriously and just just kind of be like, yo, you, you look desperate right now, like you had your chance. Or he will Honestly, start doing Dante, podcasts to try to save his reputation rappers, by way of all this and that. This is my number one true goat of rap. Yo, like, I, I, I just can't, bro. Harry got like nine movies. You realize these movies are like, these are like completely different movies. These are completely different movies. Why? Like, what are we even doing right now? What are we even doing right now, bro? All the fans that are like, oh, he's humble. He's taking the high road. All right, bro. So yeah, that's kind of what I think about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, what are we even doing, man? Drink water. W video, Patrick. D absolutely W video. W W statements. Everything you said was true. Facts times one million.